We have Kate Garner joining us now live from Kaysville monitoring those conditions. Kate, how are things looking out there right now? I know it's been pretty windy out there. Yeah, it has been windy on and off all day. We've seen big bursts come through, but right now it's pretty calm. Although I think I can still feel some of the sand in my eyes from those earlier bursts. You can see most of Davis County behind me. We're up here on the bench, but it is calm right now. However, it hasn't been calm all day long. I want to show you what it's looked like across Weber and Davis counties throughout the day. This is near the mouth of Ogden Canyon. You can see just how fast the clouds are moving, and this is not a time lapse. It's showing that movement in real time. Here's a neighborhood in Layton getting pummeled with dust this afternoon. And as winds increase, local first responders and the American Red Cross are urging people to stay home if they can, to tie down loose items in their yard or take them into the garage. And if they have to drive, to take it slow and keep both hands on the wheel. Also, if you are driving, tell someone where you're going and when you should be back. Now Rocky Mountain Power is preparing to see outages overnight, especially in Ogden, Layton, Farmington, Centerville, and the Salt Lake Valley. So those are kind of the areas that we feel the wind would have the biggest impact to our infrastructure, which, which translates into if our infrastructure is impacted, then customers could be impacted as well. Okay, so looking out for those customers, John Whiteside says people should plan to have their cell phone and other important electronics charged tonight in case they do experience a power outage, especially the people who live in those areas that I mentioned earlier. Now we're going to kind of be hanging out here in Davis County along the bench all evening to show you the latest, to show you when these winds pick up and just how bad they get. Reporting live in Kaysville, Kate Garner, back to you. I definitely need to charge that cell phone. Thank you, Kate.